everybody, Amelia here, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn, the Frozen Wilds. So, we are currently in Banuk territory, called the Cut. I don't know if it's actually Banur, or is like, Banur further up, or, I, I don't know. But anyway, we have, uh, something that's akin to the corruption, called the Daemon, and so, I don't know, I guess... It's driving the machines mad or something, just like the corruption. So we'll see okay. exactly what it is it's doing. Demon affects the machines. I've got to find Lorea. And to do that, I need to talk to her apprentice, who followed the river north. Okay. Outlander, wait, wait a moment. Aren't you a shaman? That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. This? It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Oh, Far really? north of here, there is a cave, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. Why would he tell us that? Remember what I said, but tell no one. But why? Whatever's happening in Thunder's drum. It's not enough to bring <gasps> down the Banuke. It's die! They're dying! Look at that! The D-Y-E, not the D-I-E. They're dying, Yorn! Oh! One of my hobbies. Except I don't do it in like a big pool. The longer you scroll, that's so cool. The colors and the theme. Look at it. I kind of I wish I did it in a big pool. That would be cool. See, can I talk to you? Nothing better than plunging your hands into the dying pool on a cold day. It's very hot. I can see that. Pretty sure you don't. These colors never end up as vibrant as I like. That's because they run. No matter how dark. That's so cool. Like you can even see, oh, you can even see it on the map. See, it's all yellow and blue. I was like, I wonder, I was wondering, what the hell is that thing? I figured it was a lake, but it was like. Used from the hunt? Is it a the sulfur lake or something? The herd isn't roaming far from the camp. <sighs> Keep them together this time. Then we wait, but I bet we'll see a stray. All right, I'll keep watch tonight. Nanook. Oh, look at these pretty flowers. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I'm in love. Okay. Why don't we go see what everything is? Um, this Naltuk was it? Find find Naltuk. We'll go see Naltuk and see what he can tell us. Never know when I might need these. I'm sure we'll come across other stuff along the way. Always seems fun. That fire is down there. Okay. So there's two paths. Let's go this way. There's the campfire. Carja. Oh, there's Carja. How are you not dead? May the sun grant you a. Uh... 
a portion of its wisdom, young huntress. Lucky that the Nora was there to protect us. What brings you, Karja, so far from your home? There's good machine hunting in the cut. Danger, too. Some have a taste for both, and they pay people like me well to guide them. Your We've had a bad dead. run this time, even after I brought this priest along to read the signs. I did say the sun's light was cast quite red the night of the... Not your concern, though, Huntress. May your arrows find their mark. How did he get so close to the Sun King? You're a long way from home, too. Watch your back out there. Mistakes. Well, what went wrong? Did people die? That's a lot of cards. Sorry. I have no news that would interest you. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting you to speak to me. Sorry. Well, don't you seem fresh-faced and ready for anything? I need a moment. My duties today are endless. I've always wondered, are all your kind hunters and fighters, or just a few? I Most. met Anora when I was a child. All I remember is how heavy her bow was. Can't tell if that was a slight or a good thing. Oh. All right. Let's see. Where am I going now? Bergen Still up here. Is apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully not too far. Seems far enough. Oh, right in the butt. A goat? It's a goat. I'm pretty sure that wasn't a thing before. Pretty sure. Let's see. Oh, I will totally get rid of that. To carry. That. Oh, it's a goat. I was not expecting to see goats. That must be Naltuk, looking out at that tower. It looks like it's sending out a pulse or something. Oh, boy! What is that thing? Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Bergrind told exactly me you'd be out here. But he's persistent. I've told that Osaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Aurea. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's Wait, energy it? pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Aratok said this daemon was frenzying machines. Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. Corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. These towers, were they part of your corruption? Those are new to me too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't think it'd be that easy. All right, you want to stop the spread of the daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Aurea. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. Okay. Destroy or override the tower. How exactly can I even 
oh, override it. Okay, let's control tower. PSI overrides. So I can. Repairs and provides shock resistance to hostile machines. Stuns overridden machines. No weakness. Destroyed to remove the ability to repair hostile machines. Overriding removes repair and resistance abilities. Stuns hostile machines. Oh goodness, what on earth is it doing? Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. But what she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. Blue gleam? You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Bergen told me you're Aurea's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. 
She took a chance on me. An aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up. Somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her... I have faith she will hear the voice again. Yes, I can do that. All right. I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. Bye. It was nice to meet you. He is like full on sprinting. Damn. Pardon me, he's tempted to go after him. Water log. I'm going to guess that should I come across any more of those, I should get rid of them. Let's go up here to the water log. navigation system. I don't need to stay on... Okay, I'm pretty sure their goats are just a reskin of the boars. Because I'm pretty sure boars aren't... goats aren't usually that fat. Well, hello. What is all this? This is a whole... This must be the ruin Laolai was talking about. Deeped in. Floated too, like she said. Huh. Well, hello. Would be very, very cold. Oh, sight loss. Probably the river, or something like river. Probably the river, find the source.
I'm a little confused. Not gonna lie. I can't tell which one's the river. I don't need to follow it that way. Singapore. Okay. As the waters received, the people returned. Singapore, May 5th, 2043. A large peak tinted rock marks the summit of Bukit Timah Hill, Singapore's highest point, at one time 164 meters above sea level. Charmaine Lowe records a self hollow next to the rock, her bright smile contradicted by nervous fidgeting with her prismatic fake nails and 30 style subdermal jewelry. I thought I'd never see this place. I still can't believe it's real, she marvels. Proud Bukit Timah has stood firm against time and weather, but the rest of Singapore has fared less well. With approximately a third of the island nation at less than five meters above sea level, Singaporeans like Charmaine were forced to abandon their homes as inexorable waters who leached away their foundations throughout the snoring twenties. Ha, ah, cute. The roaring twenties and then the snoring twenties. Now the surviving members of Charmaine's family are returning, alongside many others. As global temperatures and sea levels stabilize, people come by air or by water. Some seek refuge from the del deleterious effects of the Sitarum River tragedy, whose costs still reverberate today. All hope to build new lives atop the collapse of the once stable and prosperous country. All hope to build new lives atop the collapse of the once stable and prosperous country. Singapore represents one of many states abandoned by their citizens in the aftermath of heavy coastal flooding. Questions surrounding ownership are difficult to answer. Government and law enforcement personnel fled far in advance of the country's devastation, and document of titles scattered at best. The plot of land on which Charmaine's childhood home once sat had belonged to the Lowe family for almost a date or corrupted. Didn't think we'd find anything like that. All right. So I'm not quite sure I understand where exactly I'm supposed to go. Up the river? Oh, up the river. That's up the river. I see. Maybe we can get there. If I stop trying to swim into a rock. Girl, you're gonna freeze to death. Those mountains must be the ice wasps. The shaman's path begins somewhere up above. Okay. Maybe, but maybe not quite in um sub-zero temperatures. Just a wild guess. There, that must be where the water's coming from. Looks like something. Sake of the old ones. Huh. Depicts a leaf predatory animal. In 
inscribed 207 in a commemorative set, circa 2042 Montana Recreations. Trade at Hollow Hall for valuable rewards. Okay. I don't know that there's an entrance, though. I'm guessing this was once a building. Just a just a hint. And what exactly am I supposed to be finding an entrance of? Hmm. Campfire discovered. way more of the old ones than I'm used to seeing. And that's that I dislike. You followed me this long. Oh, you know how much I like the ruins. Oh, do I ever like the ruins? <sighs> Not what I meant to do. Can I make it? yourself in the process is fine. Ancient ruins to set up right patch. Well, somebody wanted in. He really blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door. Oh. And she never bothered going upstream to see what could possibly... Oh, I don't know. Kept it. Made the river flood. Oh, I do think of the thingy. Oh, I do so love the thingies. Emissions. Joyride. Text mail from Laura Vogel. Shelly Guerrera McKenzie from Laura Vogel, subject emissions joyride. Okay, girl, you are never going to guess what happened on my way home last night. First thing, I heard this sound like I heard a killer bees escaping out of a tin can. Then there's this weird light through the cheese. Through the trees. I was totally hoping it was aliens, but nah, it was one of those old blue spectrum LEDs. It looked super creepy in the snow. As I got closer, I heard some Yahoo letting out this weird guttural mantry, because if he were doing some macho primal scream therapy, you know, with a thousand RPMs between his legs. Said, said Yahoo was none other than Dodd Blevins, our new director of security or whatever his $20 title is. He was actually riding an old snowmobile. They're like a thousand times more polluting the, than a combustion air at car. My expert professional opinion, Blevins is a grade A douche canoe. I decided not to stick this security bot in his flabby rear. After all, he's practically our boss for the next two weeks. But shows you might want to take a bathroom break now because you're going to lose it when you find out what I did instead. I was standing right near one of the trail signs, and I could tell Blevins was headed for me, so I reprogrammed the sign to swap directions between Fairy Falls and Purple Mountain. Wicked, right? He'd never get a snowmobile up there. I hope he bailed out hard and had to walk back to the lodge. Guess I'll be filing my fir very first incident report right before this whole thing shuts down forever. I could let it slide like usual, but then where's the fun, Shells? Where is the fun? <laughs> okay. Where would the fun be in all of that? I don't know. The goat are all at once really cute and also really weird. Not gonna lie. First things first, let's get rid of this marker. <sighs> Guys, look at all of that. There's a dam of some kind, right? That's the dam. Enter the gray catch.
Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the deck? Like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flow? Someone's been through here. Not that long ago either. Secret show. Voice recording a text. Oh. Tell that's who's going to read this. Those spooky guys showed up today with that creepy, with that creep blevins to take measurements of our workstations. And next week they start installing Pharaoh servitors to do our jobs. Bye bye, Shelly. Bye bye, Laura. See you never. Hope you enjoy basic income. God, it's going to be weird saying goodbye to this place. When I, Quentin and I split, this was all I had. Thank God for a job where I could sit at a panel, press buttons, and cry all day. Which I think is why we're doing this hiding the tapes of our rehearsals in the dam. These tapes are our memories, our ghosts. Through them, we get to haunt this place, keep it human in some small way. This control room was where I was sitting when Laura came in, dragging an old practice amp and a guitar behind her. Shells, she said. Girl. So I was looking at schematics for this place, and I found the perfect practice space. The acoustics in this place, seriously bonkers, like echoing through the entire valley kinds of bonkers. Legit, you're going to soil yourself when you see it. I remember asking, practice space? Peace, Shelly. There's our troublemaker. Doesn't seem to be as good at getting out as he is at getting in. Gildun? How did he even do all that? With waters, no way I'd be able to swim. No, I think even you aren't about all that. The lock positions. Helpful. Okay, but one of them's missing, isn't it? Another holographic interface. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. Piece is missing. Not getting in here without it. Bunker door. These wires must run to the power source. Oh. Let me see. Okay. And there's something in there. We're not going to find it out right now. Well, let's go see what uh, Gildun has to say for himself. That's the best way to get help. Get 
in here for a second and I see if you can uh, rush you potentially imaginary rescuer take your time of course happy to accommodate well what else have you got to be doing would that i could tell you this is my first time getting stuck mid dell <laughs> no such luck i'm afraid mid dell usually i have to get myself out of these predicaments so you can imagine my relief Just I have spent two days wandering a ruin before I found an exit. Two full days! <laughs> this current arrangement of ours is preferable, of course. Not much wandering room in here. After all this anticipation, I'm even more excited to make your acquaintance than I was when I first turned you out there. How long is it going to go Although, on? Although, if I might permit myself to be frank, I... I would prefer a little <laughs> more expedient. <laughs> Help! I've, uh, I've become trapped somehow. I think he's repeating now. I'll buy the four junk leads to hear another. Oh! Are you all right? <laughs> well, you don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. The forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. Gildan. You're. Welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go with that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... Flood. Flood. So I pushed the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. Now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. Oh, By the time no. I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come to the present moment. Well, at least he didn't flood the river on purpose. He just did it out of sheer stupidity. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen uh -huh. one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from, from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it, staring into its face, seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these here. looking glasses. It's in the storage room. Oh. Yes, I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber, and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. 
Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even! You've got two hands? I've got two hands? Perfect! <laughs> my savior! My salvation! And if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will! My accomplice! <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours, and with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. A lot of five dollar words there. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. Quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also, quite by accident. <laughs> the panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't gonna be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. But alas, we can't get in. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl! Two sets of hands! Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started then. More. I guess we better. Okay. Follow Gildan. Gildan. Bow. Manual control for locking weapons. It's a dam. A D A M. No N at the end. Ah. I've never been to any of this. Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? Wait, where? Close the first. Ah! It's too strong. We can't swim against it. It's even less refreshing than it looks. I didn't mean to do it. At least it didn't kill me. The other valve is just across the edge, uh, raging floodwaters. Where? There. There? Wait, what? You might find a way to the other valve somewhere up above. Okay, I guess that's an idea. Ta. I'm glad how, uh... You're so willing to give me this job. To make me your apprentice. How how wonderful of you. You know, I'm reminded of a gel I undertook out near the plane. Stone ruin. Cloud tall and get wide. Let's spend 13 levels on that monstrosity, but no wall. You made it! Now grab that valve and give it a spin! On it. Lower the emergency ladder? I mean, I suppose it can't hurt to be there? Huh. Oh. On 
some black sleeves. A little more now, and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving. Are you going to help? There. You should be able to lower the gate. Right you are. Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. Gotta lock this thing in place. One gate Lock. down. Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate! A ladder is a rare and special thing, girl. Can depend on it oh. to take you exactly where you need to go, and no further. Oh, boy. Mm. I'd wager the power to the second cruise gator somewhere above us. How are we gonna get up there? Let me look around, see what I can find. Looks like I could jump across on that. But then you are still hurt like it. Over now. we had to watch this training hollow, and I remember probably 2% of the actual hollow. At some point, the hollow welcomed me to the Dam family, and I felt like AJ, that was such a... And I felt like A... I... A... something that was such a missed opportunity because they... Oh, A, that was such a missed opportunity because they could have called it a damnly and chose not to, and B, the idea that I would ever think of any of my co-workers as family was pretty ridiculous. But then one day I looked up and automation had whittled six people down to just Laura and I, and I was signing papers to dissolve the family I thought I had. And suddenly my last co-worker with her faded tattoos and perpetually arched eyebrows was telling me jokes and making me listen to bands I'd never heard of and cheering me up when I cried. Things were really good when it was just the two of us. We used to have these theme days. One time the sluice gates were open and we set up beach blankets on one of the catwalks in the intake tower and batted around this inflatable beach ball while I had in my apartment for some reason. Laura messed around with the emergency PA and patched in a bunch of classical surf rock songs. We even put sunscreen on the bridges of her nose. Laura called it the Concrete Beach Party. When Laura brought up band names, I knew pretty much right away that that would be our name. Concrete Beach Party. There was never really any other choice. That's actually a fantastic name for a band. I'm gonna be honest, that is, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um... I'm stopping it off in a weird place, but we are almost at 50 minutes, so it's getting kind of long, and so I don't want to be in, keep it any longer. So we're going to end it here, and pick it back up in the next one, and see if we can't get this river to stop flowing so wildly. Uh, Alright, so that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.